The English Premier League was left ruthlessly exposed by an illegal newspaper campaign to gather sensitive inside information. Around 20 marquee clubs were drawn into the multi-tabloid hacking conspiracy, which began in the 1990s and went undetected for years. The sports departments at The Sun and the News of the World aggravated the damage, because some of their journalists and editors pretended they were innocent, whilst blaming rogue news departments when suspicions were aroused. Consequently, the football world continued to trust sports desks providing them with private phone numbers and confidential data, which sparked further hacking in a betrayal that has left league officials and club employees fuming. Commercially sensitive information about takeovers, share dealings and broadcasting money was illegally rinsed from the Premier League, and those involved have never been brought to justice. Byline Investigates can reveal that central to the hacking and illegal activity was Rupert Murdoch's News International Red Top Stable, the News of the World and the Sun. But the Mirror Group, including the Daily and Sunday Mirror titles and the People, was also culpable. The interception of former Premier League executive chairman Richard Scudamore's voicemails alone provided newspapers with inside knowledge of clubs' issues and private conversations that filled news and sport pages with exclusive material. However, our investigation has uncovered worrying evidence of leading clubs and officials turning a blind eye to the criminality, for fear of reprisals. Click the link for the full story.